Thank you for stopping by. Right. You know, everything is separated by size. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm looking at the wrong section. All right. Let's go to my section real quick. Look. Shit. Nigga, you're selling like Gucci, dog. Wow. Shit. Nigga, that ain't what my pocket's talking. You got anything a little under 100? Uh, under 100? Yeah. 100. So right here, you know what I'm saying? I can get you a whole set. 75, right? Here. Shit. Nigga, y'all like it? Too much? Yeah, that's a little too much. That's a little too much. Cause like, like my shoes, I'm trying to spend a hundred. Oh, you want a hundred for the shoes too? Yeah. Come on, bro, I got something just for you. Hundred dollars, Stop! Right here. What, nigga? Yo, they go with everything. I ain't no fucking 40 year old dad, my dog. All right, all right, all right. Look, these look like they bought a hundred. They 12, nigga. Yeah. Nigga. All right, all right, all right, right here, right here. Bam! I'm trying for me, not my girl, dog. I need something better than that, dog. Damn man sizes too. My feet, dog. Yep. Yeah, dog, this one must be right here. Ooh, seven, seven, five. Yeah, man. They clean, man. These shits is clean, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Matter of fact, see, I ain't bring all my money on me in here. It's in the car. Just gotta run to the car with me like two minutes. I'm on these. Bruh, give me that sweatsuit. That $500 shirt, dog. I want that hoe, too. Give me two of them hoes, matter of fact. Just box all that shit up. I'll be right back, dog. Yeah, I, I, I bet. I'll be back. Nice little scenery. Yeah. Until she came to me today, boy. It was one here with the peak, boy. You should have seen the one with the peak. Nah, she was there. She was there. I had her. He be on though. He be on. I ain't gonna flip. He be like, bro, I'm ready to risk it. I like, nigga, I already seen. No, it do be seeming like that though. You be like, well, I'm on her. No, yeah, you forget you playing ball, cause they'll start working out. You see, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, 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 you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I need to work out a little harder. Yeah, right. Work out a little harder, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because she won't this type of guy. <laughs> you shoot half court shots now, yeah. y'all all kinds of shit. Fadeaways. Nigga out there doing way of wild practices. I'm talking about you see them girl, bro. Nah, that shit is so funny, bro. Niggas dunking, <laughs> hand behind the head, all layups, all kinds of shit. Oh, you know God. what I'm saying? Let's get it though. <laughs> this up, man. You are now tuned in to Tap In TV, baby. It is your host, Mac the Motivator, and now I am in some location in Atlanta that may be disclosed, may not. We know, you know what I'm saying? But we on the north side of Atlanta, baby. We at Selective Clothing, and we definitely have some true players, some true entrepreneurs, some true. Goal hitters, some leaders, some leaders. What we got? What, what else I would like to say? We got some guys that's here that's really just uh, showcasing that you can be whoever the fuck you want to be in life. You yes, know what I'm sir. saying? Stay in your own lane, maintain it. Future moments. Uh, don't be fearful. Fuck all that. You know what I'm saying? Scratch this. We are gonna let them introduce themselves. Make sure y'all intro introduce yourself from left to right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who is it? Who we Mello. got? Mellow, Romello, whatever you want to call it, but most people say Mellow. Um, we got David. Uh, yeah, I'm David, too wavy, wavy, whatever you want to call me. You know? Yeah, and we got David and we got Mellow, right? And let them know where y'all positioned in this store and how y'all play y'all part. Um, so I'm the founder, founder and owner. Um, I, you know, try to keep everything together and, you know, structured while... You know, he does all the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, yeah. I'm like the operational manager, you know, sales director. Um, I pretty much handle the day-to-day, -day, like sales, you know, inventory count, stuff like that. So, 
if, all the problems. He oh, deals all with the problems. all the problems. Oh, so he get all the little stress and shit. <laughs> yeah. So that's what's up, man. At the end of the day, somebody got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So let all the folks know exactly where y'all at in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Location wise, you know what I mean? So when they pull up, they know what they pulling up to. 2933 Pleasant Hill Road. You Street heard it. 84. Look for the selected clothing signs. You heard it. <laughs> and we right here. I'm talking about live. What you're seeing is what you get. They got everything you want and everything that you need when it comes down to apparel, even shoes, man. So we're going to get them started. Uh, y'all got a website and social media you want to shout out to the people? So on Instagram, it's at selectedclothing underscore co. The website is selectedclothing.co. All that's going to be right here. But um, we're always here. Monday, or my bad. Monday through Saturday. Yeah. 12 to 7.30 p.m. Okay. And if y'all want to do, like, some personalized shopping when we're not open, just let us know in advance. We could probably work something out, but we, we do offer that. Oh, they're going to open the doors for you if you VIP. If you VIP, yeah. if you come to spin that bag now, they may open the doors for you. Hey, they may jump out the bed for you. That's you right. never know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh, let me get a little bit in tune with who you guys are. What's y'all hometown? Where you guys are from? Are y'all from Atlanta or what? So I was born in Tampa, moved to Atlanta when I was about 11. So I would say I'm from Atlanta That's what's up. most of my life is here. Okay. What about you? Um, Honestly, the same. I was born in the Bronx, lived in Mount Vernon, but then moved down here when I was like seven. So pretty much from Atlanta as well. So. All right. You heard it, man. This is ATL flavor right here in your face. So you may see these people at the, your local American deli. You know what I'm saying? Get, get some lemon pepper. You know what I'm uh, saying? And you when you stop it, you ain't get some lemon pepper. You feel what I'm talking about? So other than that, though, y'all being hometown heroes. That's what we going to call y'all because y'all started here young. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to call y'all some hometown heroes. What made you open up this store? And are y'all guys sneakerheads? So Both of y'all. I wasn't a sneakerhead growing up. Mm -hmm. um, but just about everybody close to me was. So it kind of grew on me. And when my friends started seeing me, you know, like run into a little bit of money, investments start, you know, working out in my favor. Mm -hmm. They all had the same questions. Like, why do you not care about how you dress? <laughs> so, <laughs> so it went from, it slowly went from uh, just, you know, being comfortable and wearing what I wanted to wear to finding stuff that could still be comfortable and yeah. still have a name behind it I like to it. me putting it together to where I can like make my own clothes that are still comfortable that people could still realize like, okay, there's some hype behind this name because yeah. he has a store and you know, it's a rising business, but still above everything else the clothing is comfortable but let me break people down like break it down what you really just told me folks that's what you call hustle over talent so all you motherfuckers that wake up every morning getting your outfit laid out on your bed trying your hardest <laughs> look what brought did. he got everything <laughs> for you your little lame ass so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna keep on going and introduce your uh your habits or if you are uh Sneakerhead. Honestly, I'll definitely consider myself a sneakerhead. I just really don't actually like actively go out there and be on the sneaker scene like that. Especially uh -huh. because it started getting out of hand, like with the resales and all that, like the bots, all that okay. stuff. Okay. I was so just about like, to ask you that, like you being a sneakerhead, what did you notice about the sneaker game that changed when it came down to even just getting the favorite pair of shoes you wanted? I literally talk about that with pretty much every customer that come here who is like a sneakerhead or something like mm -hmm. that. The pricing. When I was in high school, bro. Ones was a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Ones was a hundred dollars. They definitely now, was. Now, not, what Air Force was like lie. 80, 90 dollars. Like, <laughs> I was wearing dunks for like 90, 80 bucks, like straight that's up. That's what I'm saying. No now, bullshit. I will say dunks, they, they price really didn't change. They like a hundred, hundred ten. So they really they resell set, but, is crazy. but the resale is like six, seven hundred dollars. You might pay Man, a stack I'm or talking two about you some. better tap in. Right. If you broke, you better go buy you some dunks. You hear me? <laughs> Flip them things yeah. and get you some paper. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, not to cut you off, but let's say, what was your favorite shoe or what was that shoe that got you into the sneaker game? And can you ask that question too? All right. So, so pretty much, like, <laughs> fat ass stuff. I want to say, like, my mom, it, it's kind of funny, but then, tell that like, story too, because like, I like your smile. Yeah. It looks so like it's some like, real story. My mom kept me oh, fly, right. but she kept me fly. You know what I'm saying? The old Navy clearance rack sneaker. So it's like, Hey, it's we used to be matched. We used to be fly down to the head to toe. I got my first job, and it was also like, I don't, I don't pay, I don't pay no bills. Like, yo, I'm definitely gonna get me some. So yeah. the Baron Nines when they dropped like the first time. Oh, the Baron, the, the, Baron the white, Nines. gray, and black. 
Very and we gotta pop that up on the screen so y'all can see that it may be right here, it may be right here, or it may be on his feet. You never know. <laughs> Go ahead. Because the very nines, I bought them, and then I literally went and like I just like cashed out like Ooh. on some shoes. And it was just awesome. Those was my first pair of retros, Ooh. and then like ever since then, it was like I ain't gonna lie. They I like this feeling of having some like yeah. some heat on my feet. It's like clean. so, then ever since then, it was like I literally like I googled names of colorways mm-hmm. and like the numbers of the Jordans. So I can learn, cause people used to be talking like, "Yeah, I just got the new seven, and I have yeah. no clue what, know what it was. Like, I ain't know what sevens look like." So okay. it was like I literally taught myself like That's what's up. what what numbers was what like everything. I like I like I like that, bro. About both of y'all, y'all really taught yourself about the shoe game. You know what I mean? Yeah. You seen the experience by what other, everybody else was indulging into, and you yeah. seen the value. But let alone that y'all brought your own style. What was that shoe for you, bro? Um, honestly, I would say. Mm. Honestly, it it was more recent for me. Okay, um, it's cool. Like I've shoes have always, you know, I've always loved shoes, but I wasn't really like, like he said, I wasn't really uh, like I didn't know what they were. What they were, yeah, mm-hmm. I knew like I could point out a one. I didn't realize there were so many like different colorways mm-hmm. and names for each one. Okay. When I could say like when I started caring about learning the names and everything like that was when um, I would say the when the university ones when the university blue ones dropped. Okay. Earlier, not Those literally like too, this year, yeah, like they not long too. ago. That's what's that up. was when I was like, okay, like I know nice shoes when I see them, but now, like I don't, I don't know what it was about seeing it, but yeah. do I, you care about material and stuff like that? Not really. I never okay. did. I literally like I I never did, but That's what's up. now. It, it starts transforming when you, I don't know, everybody find, sees something for the first time and they're like, mm-hmm. okay, like I need to know more about this topic. Mm-hmm. And when I saw the University of Blues, that was it for me because I don't know, it was just so hype before they dropped. Another breakdown in the video. This is what happened when people think they know what the fuck they want, but they don't really know what they want until they see it. You get what I'm saying? That's another breakdown. You get what I'm saying? So what they talking about is some real player shit. So I got some more questions for you. So I hope you ain't got nowhere to go. You know what I'm saying? Me. Nah, we <laughs> All right. So I got a real intense questions that may uh, touch a lot of people, our viewers or whatever. And this question is for both of you guys. Jeezy's. Me. Hold on. I'm sorry. Yeezy's <laughs> or Jordan's? Yeezy's or Jordan's? Do you feel like Yeezy jumped over the jump, man? Negative. I feel like, <laughs> honestly, I'll say like only reason why I could a, a person could really have that argument. Man. I feel like it's just because of the price. Just but say what, say say what, just say what the fuck you gotta say, man. Yeah, bro. I'm just, I'm just turn my back nah, too. Nah, like Jordan's. I feel like Jordan's definitely Jordan's is through the ages. Like you still got old old ass men who used to like watch Jordan play who would rock some Jordans. Yeah, but then. They'll pay that price for some Jordans, but then they see that same price tag on the Yeezy. Be like, who the hell Yeezy? Who the Kanye fuck ain't even good no more. Yeah. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like Jordans will forever have that. Like, there y'all go. Yeezy. So for anybody that's questioning themselves and wondering, like, why the hell you see Jordans popping like they popping? It's because they built a generation like a uh, brand. It's, it's it's something that won't go away because everybody got their style from Jordan. If anything, you know what I'm saying. But Yeezy, what you doing? Kanye, keep doing it. Dunder yeah. Academy and all that, keep doing it, bro. Shout out to you. You know what I mean? You're not on the wrong path. You get what I'm saying? You're doing right. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into uh, Selective Clothing. What's the vision for Selective Clothing? When so, it comes down to the city and all that. So this is our first store. Um, I plan on opening another one in where... So if you don't know where we are now, um, it's in Gwinnett County, which is um, on the north side of... Atlanta, Atlanta, so about 45 minutes. 85 North. North. You listen yeah. to me, goes, you know where it's at. Exactly. Motherfucker. <laughs> so <laughs> my like next, I don't know where it's at. next door, I okay. wanted to be in Atlanta. And then from there, I wanted to do like Miami, um, maybe LA. But right now, I'm just focusing on like the East Coast. Okay. Um, but yeah, and then not even just be clothing. Like as y'all see, we have art. We have oh, yeah. all kinds of different stuff. So and I'm sure though, next time we meet, I'm sure mm-hmm. we'll be selling something else other than art and clothes too. Cause That's what's up. we just like to tap in with local, you know, artists, uh-huh. not even not people. painting artists, but artists as in, in, in visionaries. Okay. People definitely. who, you know, have a vision and oh, that's definitely just need help getting their foot in the door. Oh, yeah, that's definitely dope right there, bro. Cause so all y'all independent entrepreneurs, uh, what we want to call creatives, 
artists, entertainers. At the end of the day, you may just see a pop up comedy sh- like comedy show here at fucking Selective Club. You never know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> at the end of the day, we here shooting this podcast. You know what I mean? We chilling on the couch and we talking about some real experiences. So what these experiences are that we're experiencing is growth, man. All we want y'all to do is growth. That's all we're talking about. That's that vision for selective clothing. So I'm just running on. Sorry, y'all. All right, let's go. What's the best way to make sure the shoes that come through? Man, hold on. I'm sorry. Scratch that. All right. Are you guys a buy, sell store? Like buy, sell, resale store? Are y'all that type of guy? So as of two weeks ago, we are. Okay. Um, we were kind of nervous about doing it at first. Mm-hmm. Um, so we wanted to make sure we stayed open for a few months first. But now we're confident enough to know, you know, how to legit check everything from T-shirts to slides to shoes. I'm so and glad then, you said legit check. Because, exactly. you know, the people would like to know, how yeah. do you authenticate your shoe? You know, everybody thinks stock X is God. So, no. Nah. <laughs> but that, <laughs> no, that's just my personal opinion. But other than that, um, so the, our like. biggest tool would be um, the black light. Okay, um, we have a fat ass black light, probably the size of like this cup. Okay, um, and it picks up every imperfection that there could be um, okay. from on the box. We scan the, every every single like top of, inside of, side of the box, like every angle of the box, and then. We moved to the shoe, mm-hmm. um, checking the stitching, making sure that the factory that made it didn't put any kind of extra markings on the shoe that shouldn't be there. Mm-hmm. Um, really, right about it's that. stuff that we taught ourselves through YouTube. And You want to make sure that Michael Jordan is doing a dunking out of layup. Yeah. Exactly. Right. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> and he don't look like he gained weight all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I seen a couple of y'all Michael Jordans out here losing weight. You know what I'm saying? You jump man out here losing weight. <laughs> You gotta tell your manufacturer yeah. step his game up, bro. Yeah. Or you just come to uh, select the clothing and get your drip. You feel what I'm talking about? Right. So you won't be out there looking like a true lane. You know what I'm saying? That's right. So well, other than that, the, fake, the fakes have definitely gotten better over the years. Oh, they like, definitely have. Which is like, why they call them AA, AA, right? Bro, I, 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 hey, 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 you got somebody oh. behind the camera telling about oh his yeah. self right now. Oh. <laughs> 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 Shout out to Tap In TV, baby. We gonna tap in when she get real. I remember back in the day they had a nice tea dot com. You hear me? You hear me? Bro, what? Hold on, let hold on, hold on. Cause this nigga really, really tapped in, y'all. Yeah. If you don't know about NiceKick.com back when they were selling shoes, yeah. I don't really think you really was a sneakerhead. Now, when it come down to the host with the most, I was a fucking sneakerhead, bro. I used to be on t- 23 is back, East Bay. Nice uh, kick. Yeah. Uh, what else? Like, I'm talking about literally everything Shoe you can think of. Nigga, you can fight about the eBay. Uh, I'm eBay telling you about money. the books. Oh, and they were free. Oh. Niggas out here fighting over them books and they were free, bro. <laughs> like, this is what we, we created this <laughs> culture, like, dead ass serious. Like, I done seen people, mamas get slapped for J's. You know what I'm saying? I come from Birmingham, Alabama, dog. Like, <laughs> and I don't care what side of town you on, it may pop off. You know what I'm saying? Over some shoes. So it's, it's it's crazy, man. Yeah, small feet. What's happening, Cub? Now that was funny, though. I ain't even gonna like fuck me up on my quest. <laughs> At least he better have small feet. All right. When it comes down to authenticating, that y'all got that all in the bowl, and, mm-hmm. and so that, therefore, for all you got uh, viewers out there, it's wondering if you're getting the authentic pieces. They got clothes. They got shoes. It's not like just they going back there with a black light on some shoes and shining on them, man. It's a real deal. Everything, let alone they have their own brand. Can you guys at least introduce them to y'all brand and what kind of material you rocking or whatever the hell you just explain it to us what you got going on? I mean, right here, we just got some new like track suits in. You feel me? Um, Select the clothing. That's our brand. You know what I'm saying? That's the name of the store. We got a bunch of different pieces in here. We got stuff for the ladies. We got even more stuff coming in for the ladies. You know what I'm saying? But we got a bunch of different stuff that we do. And us, we use like good, high quality material. Um, our shirts, it's like a soft cotton, kind of like polyester blend. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's mad soft, very breathable. Like, you know, it's real comfortable. Um, we got leggings, like we got shorts, mm-hmm. like men and women. 
Yeah, okay. booty shorts for the women. Like, booty you know short. Saying? Yeah, we in Atlanta, so for the men too. You know what I'm saying? I don't judge. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! Like, they need to <laughs> fuck me up. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, you are now tuned in to tap in TV, baby. We gotta reverse these motherfuckers. These niggas said niggas with booty shorts. <laughs> 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 hey, but we in Atlanta. He ain't lying though. So, hey man, shit. Up? Hey, stay your ass at Lenny's though. Don't come <laughs> with us and let clothing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I'm fucking with y'all. Whoever y'all is, make sure you edit this. <laughs> But I swear to God, they out here taking the baby out. And we ain't even gonna elaborate on that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we first episode, last episode. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you gonna lie when you said this? Y'all was over here looking like, oh, what the fuck? All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, y'all know what it is. So what? Uh, what's one of like your guys' dopest retro shoe you have in the store right now? Like. For those sneaker heads, they're probably looking for something that they don't know about. What you can think about? What What's the dopest retro shoe you have in here right now? Hmm. Honestly, I'm not going cap. I think we sold them already, but we had the, the off-white ones. I don't know what it was, but it was like oh, the off white one. The off white one. It was, it was the joints that was like kind of like the same colorway as like these. Oh, but the, then it was uh, like it had the orange, like the orange tag on them. What the thing called, man? Oh man, you I can't it. even think of the name of the it colorway. Was, they wasn't no UNC. Uh, I think they were UNC. They was what? UNC's. Okay, that's what it was. UNC yeah. All right, then. That's what it was. Like, white um, baby blue one. Yeah, with the with orange tag. Yeah, I know exactly. You talking about? I don't know what it was. So for all y'all sneaky heads, they're looking at us like them niggas don't even know what they talking about. Another middle finger to you. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm just talking shit. But other than that too, though, what other brands y'all have on the rack that the people may not know, like on the standpoint of apparel? You know what I mean? What what brands y'all have on them racks? Even give us the price ranges too, man, for the people that, you know what I mean? They got questions. So, I mean, I guess I'll go ahead and kick it to y'all. So pretty much we have local brands in there. We got a brand from Alabama. We got a brand that's based out in Cali. Okay. And we got a couple of brands. Hold on. Like- they got a brand in here, y'all. Can we please? I and this is for my own personal opinion. They got a brand in here called Poppin' Pussy. Pussy Poppin'. That's, that's from New York. Some shit right there, right? Yeah, I think they got a Pussy Poppin'. Can hey, I just this the, hey, I'm not even this they they ain't pay for this advertisement. But the motherfuckers they ain't poppin' pussy. Since 1988. Bro, and look at this logo. Look at this quality. <laughs> and then the pharmaceutical. Bro, did you see what you see? Did you see what you see? And I'm talking about what the Leo doing. The Leo's <laughs> playing. Oh, I know the Leo's playing. The Leo's playing, though. Because he look like a titty sucker. Right? You know what I mean? Like, you know, they give a little too many You know what I'm saying? Bro, they just gave me a little I kind of looked at this shirt one day. And I kind of want to be a Capricorn. <laughs> hey, we be do it right. right. We do it right. I want to be a Capricorn. Look, hey, look, one arm on one neck, look, one arm on frontal. Look, you feel me? Look, you see the Capricorn. And at the end of the day, all we picking is booty shots. All you picking is booty position. Y'all have a position that you like on the shirt. December thirty first, I'm a Capricorn. Right there. Like I said, one arm on neck, one arm on frontal. Why you acting weird? You feel me? Look. Hey, I'm telling y'all, make sure y'all come get y'all some. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> come get y'all some pop I swear to God, when I came down here and seen this shirt, man, I lost my mind. I couldn't believe it because it's really, really fly, and it's but it's great quality. I'm talking about thick, baby. I'm talking about it's going to hug your wrist on the, uh, on the uh, wrist action. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about that stretching out. This is, I'm talking about... Bruh, this is great quality, but let alone it's real life, man. Y'all know y'all living like this. <laughs> you see your signs. <laughs> but uh yeah, take this out of my goddamn camera, man. <laughs> we'll just play. <laughs> I'm talking to you, nigga. Well, but yeah. you know, we can't keep this shit in the air. They ain't pay for that. You know so, what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I did have to show love to them niggas. This shit. That it's shit was fly, some fly man. ass shit though, dog. It's I ain't gonna lie, fly. that shit stood out to me. I was like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? Like, what in the world? Like, who who thought of that? Like, whoever thought of that was a great job. Shout out to Poppy Pussy, y'all. Creatives. For real, for real. Like, yeah. real creative, like you said, yeah. artists, man. Yeah. And that's what we want out here in selective clothing. But let alone that, that's what Atlanta's about. 
a letter about all about artistry. You know what I'm saying? So let's get on to some more questions out here. Let's say, okay, if it came down to it, if a person didn't have enough money, is selective clothing giving them the options of raffles and challenges and, you know what I'm saying, games and stuff like that? Are y'all giving these uh, options out? So we do do raffles um, about every two weeks. Um, don't quote me on that because we may do a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. um, but we, we do at least once a month we do a raffle. Um, okay. And our last raffle... It's, it may not even be clothes. Like somebody may be like, okay, I really want some clothes. I can't wait till this next raffle. And then you realize that our raffle is totally different. This last raffle, we gave away two Atlanta uh, Falcons tickets. Oh, that's um, dope. We gave away $50 cash. And then okay. we gave away a pair of All-Star ones. Okay. Um, and that was, that's not three different raffles or three different giveaways. That's one giveaway. Oh, Three wow. different winners. Um, it last, it was, it was over. You said that was one giveaway. One giveaway over the course of three. four Three, three or four days, something like that. Yeah. Boy, come on now, y'all. You heard the man Mellow, bro. He just let you know if you come in this store, you're going to get what you need. Yeah. He going to let you, man, come on, bro. Now, more more than what you need. I'm talking about, like, for real, more than what you need. The customer service is up to par, it's top tier, you know? You guys, you guys come out here, man. Chick -fil -A. You hear what I'm talking about? They are the Chick Fil A of the sneakers. Yeah, exactly. They the Chick Fil A of sneaker game, baby. Falcons, you know what I'm saying? Falcons need to go ahead and sponsor us. Straight up, why not? Cause this shit real over here. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Well All right, let's get to some more questions. Hold on. Actually, we don't. Okay. We don't want the Falcons. We want the Hawks. Okay. Yeah, we rather get the Hawks. <laughs> but go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. make, hold on. Let's pause and make sure you say that shit again. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> Falcons, don't call me. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm going to be real, Falcons, bro. Y'all, hey, look. Hey, look. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama, right? And the Falcons been losing since my boy. Who been doing the dirty bro? Anderson? What his name? Okay. Third point, come back, y'all. What the dude's name is, though? <laughs> they did the dirty bird. <laughs> That's the last time I even gave a fuck about a foul. I don't even know his name. I, I forgot it. Anderson. Uh, some Anderson. But we can't even think about that shit. Just let y'all know. It's time to turn up uh, Atlanta Falcons. Because the last time y'all fucked around and uh, fell on that Super Bowl, I'm telling you, I was outside driving Uber. I, hold her, I heard the whole city say, Oh! <laughs> fuck! The whole, the whole city. I'm just sitting in the car waiting on y'all to lose so I can pick up all the fans. So, you know what I'm saying? I already knew y'all gonna lose. I ain't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I was out there trying to make me a little choke. You know what I'm saying? So, other than that, and let them fact, can y'all please step y'all game up? Because we really want to represent. You got a beautiful logo, beautiful colors, a beautiful fucking stadium. Yeah. Yeah. So came back, like, ain't no way. Man, Boy, come on, dog. Man. What? So no way, <laughs> outside, smoke a name back. I'm Look. talking about, and what they don't realize, y'all looking at people that's affected by your losses, bitch. Like, come on, like, come on, y'all. What, what? Come on. Is there any other collaboration that y'all guys do too that we want to know about? Because we seen popping pussy. So, okay. is there any other collaboration you guys got? Going um, on? So, as far as like actual collaborations, we're still working on it. We mm -hmm. we want to figure out. Um, what brands our customers like best so we can partner with those brands and try to come up with clothes together. But for now, we're more, we're more so just getting brands to get their best pieces in the door okay. so that we can further like take those evaluations. Okay. Is there anything in the future coming up to where y'all having some pop-ups, some, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we do have a pop-up on the 30th, um, the day before Halloween, okay. where um, Ciroc will be... Um, will be it's a collaboration with Ciroc, um and also with our homeboys uh, podcast, The Bro Chillians. Y'all can definitely follow them as well. Um, it's a dope podcast. You know what I'm saying? Um, they do audios, and they also do visuals every Saturday, too. And they drop it on YouTube. But um, it's it's literally just going to be a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't come spend no money or nothing like that, as long as you come stop by, show some support, check out the new pieces we're going to be showing. That's uh, We're going to try and unveil our new female pieces that same day as well. So y'all yeah. be able to see them, you know what I'm saying? Y'all so, women, make sure y'all come out here and yeah. check out Selective Clothing because they definitely, they definitely trying to do something for you. Let them know what y'all need down there in the comments in this video. Hit their page up, you know what I'm saying? Go to Selective Clothing on Instagram, right? And that's the yeah. name of it. Yeah. Make sure y'all go there to Selective Clothing. 
And uh, y'all leave something in the comment, letting people know what y'all want. We're here to hey, serve. You know DM what I'm saying? us. We always reply to our DMs. It may not be immediately, but we always make sure we get to the people. We want to, I mean, we're here for y'all. If there was no y'all, there would be no us. So it's like, hey. we want to try and make sure that we take care of everything y'all need. So just let us know what y'all like to see in here. Shoe sizes, sneakers, all that. Like, if you just see something you like or there's some drops coming up, we'll try and get our hands on them. Like, you know what I'm saying? We'll do our best we can. Yeah. And uh, I probably I got like a couple more questions. Like I see about two more questions left. I see I got okay for all the people out there. You know what I'm saying they may have questions, right? Why is the sneaker business important to you guys? Like you know what I'm saying as a brand and as an establishment and as a corporation. Um, I mean, before anything else, when you feel good, you look good. So if you this, oh, you like Dion Sanders? You fuck with D.I.S.L.? Oh, come on. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna let you know, boy. I'm goddamn maybe just be your best friend, nigga. Everybody don't know that quote, yeah, man. Nah, yeah. Everybody don't know that quote. That's how, you know what I'm saying? Right, go ahead, go, go, <laughs> me, go ahead, David. My bad. Go ahead. Answer that question for me, man. Yeah, honestly, he really loved me stole what I was gonna say, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's cool, though. Um, I'm a fan of Deion Sanders, too. Um, yeah, straight you up. You know what I'm saying? But straight like, up. Yeah, nah, that ass, though, because it's like, I'm the type of person, like, I ain't even got to go nowhere. I could literally be going to the grocery store, or I could just be going out by myself, might grab me something to eat, though, but it's like, yeah, like, I like to look good. Like, not for nobody else, but for me. Like, I don't know nobody who like to look in the mirror and see a, a ruffian, goddamn ruffian, <laughs> yeah. and it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, straight up. Like, hey, you look Straight good, up. you feel good. You, look you know good, what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel good, you do good. Yeah, and they gonna keep like, this sneaker you know thing going. So man. it's like that's why it's important to me because, especially from like having, I'll say, both sides of the coin. Like you know what I'm saying? Having to thug through wearing shit you ain't want to wear. Boy, you know, what them days where no them hand me downs, hand me downs, hand me up. Goddamn, look. So it, bro. so so this was another part of the uh, episode where our cameraman let you know a little bit of part of his life. <laughs> Have y'all guys ever wore K Swiss? Yes, I haven't. My nigga. What are you gonna say about K Swiss? Well, oh God, I had a pair of K Swiss. Come, <laughs> you had. They had to fire strike me, man. And this how I freak, this no, how I freak my K Swiss. No. I'm gonna tell you. Hold on, no, no, no. let me tell you, nigga, how I freak my K Swiss. Hold on, He's let me tell you how I freak these niggas with my K Swiss. My K Swiss. I changed up my laces every day with my outfit, nigga. Every day. I used to wake up every day. I went scamming and, and goddamn scrambling for shoe laces. You my most saying? traumatic experience. Traumatic. Okay. you saying. I, I, <laughs> hey, but hold on. Don't no, no, no. Don't no, 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 you got to edit her name out. No, nigga, you ain't going to do auntie like that, man. She did me like this. She did us <laughs> like this. Because she, she did you this, like that. She, no, no, no. I, I, yo, fourth grade. Oh, my God, y'all. I said, Mom, I want some joy. Select clothes. She said, she said, you, you want some Jordans? I said, I want some Jordans. I want some shoes. She said, boy, I ain't gonna get you no Jordans. I was like, I want some Jordans, mom. I kept saying, mom, I want some Jordans. She said, all right, cool. My birthday pop up. Not my birthday, not my birthday. My bad, my bad, not my birthday. Christmas. Mm -hmm. Christmas pop up. She said, I got you some shoes. I'm gonna tree. It's wrapped up nice and everything. I'm like, yeah, it's so. Bone up. <laughs> they want it, bone yes, up. Son. I go to the tree, I wrap that bitch, boy. I look up, I get the shoe, boy. Pull that bitch out, boy. Al Thunders. Who the fuck is Al Thunders, boy? Boy. <laughs> boy, I went, boy. Hold on, hold on. Al Thunders, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How Al they do that Thunders. on that movie shit? Cut. <laughs> hold on, cut. Nick, man. Boy, Al, Al Thunders. And I had to wear them to school because the other shoes I had were fucked up. So I had, had, I had, no my, I had to put boy. my tongue over the shoe, right? The tongue. I mean, I had to put my pants over the tongue, right? So people want to see that big ass fat Jordan. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This nigga. Somebody got they you. They roasted my Somebody ass. Got him. All I already day. knew it. I already knew it. Day, That's bro. why this nigga love the roast. You know what I'm saying? Day, like, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to I don't even know how to react to that story, though. I don't really care about shit like that. Bro, like, you know what? It's cool. Air Thunders, nigga. I heard of air. Where the fuck did they get the thunder from? Nigga, it had it on the inside of some air thunders. Yo. I said, what? Honestly, I ain't gonna lie. That's impressive. Where you find them at? Like, you know, where'd <laughs> you go to get them? We heard of air. We heard of shacks. We heard of bobos. The ball bearings. Man, it's traumatic. They, they no, they, this, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me introduce the people to another segment. This is what happened when you're dealing with trauma. You know, we all deal with trauma <laughs> as black like, men in this world. You know, we all sit on this couch. We all mistakes. 
You know about mothers and our fathers playing us. No you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> my, guy, my guy had to wear some air thunders, man. Think about his trauma, man. They I got on my head. I just want to let y'all <laughs> in our view, pray for my pray for my boy, man. Pray for 31, man. Pray for 31. His mama put they got on my head, mama. Thunders, man. Why would they? Why would she do him like that? Because <laughs> if I no, went to school with him, I would have cracked on his ass too. I ain't got no personality to offset that. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> no, like for real though, that's trauma though. Uh, that's no, trauma. Look, I'm, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm an outgoing person. Bro, the nobody. wackest shoe I probably ever wore was the goddamn K Swiss. But after him. I want to say I had sketches and I also had. Oh no, I had I had sketches. And I oh, had that's a, a great USPAs. question. What was the what was the worst shoe that you probably ever wore? Like, uh, um. Like that my, mom, my mom did the shacks to us. She did shacks. Yeah. All right, what you? I want to say it's really a toss up I, between like the old white man sketches. Like it wasn't even like the sketches that lit up. Like you know, I'm talking. About, I'm look, in like fifth grade. See, like, I think the, I probably the, got the you probably, you probably got the worst, but I probably come in second. Cause he said he had the shacks, right? I mean, I had the shacks, but I had the kazams. <laughs> All you gotta do is make a wish check. <laughs> Nigga, let me tell you how real it was, right? Like, my brother was the athlete of the family, right? So I told my dad I want to play basketball, right? So my <laughs> guy, said make a wish. My dog told me, man, my oh, nigga no really bought me some Kazams, man. <laughs> My nigga bought me Kazaya, bro. And that nigga told me straight up. I'll never forget that. My daddy told me straight up. Hold on. This is another <laughs> segment of that trauma. <laughs> my daddy told me, man. Oh, okay, well. Bro, you just going out there to play. Like, you ain't, you ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't said. And he was like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't. <laughs> nigga just straight told me I ain't fine. You know what I'm saying? And the fucked up thing about it, I was playing for a rec uh, well, I was, I was playing for a rec league, but we went undefeated. That was the only championship trophy I ever got in my life. Shout out to all my <laughs> partners that played with me at the YFCA. Because <laughs> I definitely had a pair of Kazams. Oh, and I'd rather turn them bitches in for some regular shacks any day. Cause, <laughs> dog, I was so glad that was my only practice shoe. I just practiced in the shoe. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I just played basketball in the shoe. I ain't never do nothing else in the motherfuckers. When I put them bitches hey, in the closet, I went and got my Nikes. Well, for yeah, I got my yeah, Nikes. Yeah, yeah, you go out into the world. Yeah. And try my shit, to yeah, right. Girl, you can with these Alphonse <coughs> on. Nah, you wasn't going to get no pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wasn't going to get no pussy, what? bro. You wasn't getting no, no pussy. Like, but, like, hey. like, you wasn't getting no hey. numbers. You wasn't even going to get a milk. Like, but they got you wouldn't even get, like, I'm, I'm so glad we switched schools. Oh, yeah. my mom, I'm so glad we switched schools, bro. Because if it went, bro, Oh, yeah, you had to shoot the nigga. Yeah, you had to shoot the nigga. And Burma, I ain't going to lie to y'all. Even though we, hey, we based out of Atlanta. We talking about the South. But let me tell y'all something about Birmingham, Alabama, bro. Birmingham, Alabama, them niggas will hurt your motherfucking feelings, dog. If you come outside with that shit and you ain't got it on. <laughs> you come outside with them. Let me pump your gas foes. <laughs> them goddamn, them Bessie, <laughs> Bessie beating downs. You hear me? Them Bovos. Them, 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 them who the wham You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Them Air Thunders. Like, come on. Them Kazams. You know what I'm saying? You, know what I'm you can't do that. But, since you're on the couch, though, you know what I'm saying? This is 31, and I am Matt the Motivator, and I have one more question for Selective Clover. Do y'all have Lil Way? Mm. And that's it, baby. No, 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 no. Tap, tap, tap in TV, yeah, baby. Tap in. You heard me? That's it, y'all. <laughs> that was hard. Yeah. That was hard. Great last yeah. question. Yeah. Right. Yeah.